This is hydrogen tap. Well, it's getting summer out here. And I'm starting to do the fitting work for the hydrogen cell. If you look very closely here, I'll show you a better view of it. This is the Honda. Unfortunately, my Honda has over uh, 100,000 miles on it. I'm hoping that's not going to make me buy another car for this. I'm looking around and I have found the oxygen sensor. I'll show you. And there's the cell. What I'm doing now is is taking measurements and you can see it here. It is I had it in here last year, but it was a, a shorter cell. What I'm going to be doing is, is, is fitting this most probably to these joints here, from here to here. And there'll be another, there's, we have another two over here. You can see how it's in there. It's in there pretty well. It's sitting flat right now, and once I get this strapped down, You can see this, there's a screw here. There's a lot of screws all the way around. I shouldn't have that much problem with it. Last year what I did is I used very heavy plastic to secure it to the frame. And actually that works better than metal. You can see here is the fuse box in which I'll be coming into here. What you're looking at there is the air intake. Comes all the way around here to this box and it lifts out. I'll show you what this what I've done to that here. This is the uh, switch arrangement inside the Honda. And I uh, usually have meters underneath there, but there you can see the arrangement there. That switch on the right, that switch comes up and then there's a switch under it. When you push that down, uh, what happens is it turns off the switch. But I'm going to set it up so this time when the ignition is turned on that the cell turns on and when it's off it's off. I had a problem last year when I forgot to turn the hydrogen cell off, turn the car on about three hours later and had a had a pretty nice noise coming out of the air intake there. That's something you don't want to forget. So again That looks like the best area for the cell. Now what I'm going to do is set up some brackets for it. I'm hoping to have this cell working by next week. I've been taking some readings on gas mileage. Uh, my first reading was 26 miles to the gallon without any helper on it at all, which isn't bad. Uh, the second reading I'll have probably by the end of the week and we'll see what that comes out. It's probably more like 18 miles to the gallon. We'll take an average. 
but 26 is high and I really was surprised at that. This will give you some idea of the cell and you probably notice the new ports I've got in there. One on the bottom and then one uh, halfway up. And what that's going to be is a water port circulation system when I'm through. I will not have that ready to put in the Honda right away, but it is a design that I'm working on. It's a good shot of one of the ports. What you're looking at here is the through port. It's this piece right here. And that's the plug that uh, there. There we go. That's the plug that I use to go through the firewall to the cab. And it's working out pretty well, so that's where all my wires are going to go. Of the other systems that I use or make use of when I have the cell running, at least last year, is this, which is the fuse box. And I come in on the side here and then come through here. And I tap off this made this fuse here. As you can see this fuse looks like it's broken. The top half of it's broken anyway. There should be a cover on it. You can see there's a cover on this one. So I'm going to be doing a lot of things different this year than I did last year. I've got a lot more information to work with. And things are going to go well because this year we'll have it running. Anyone want to go to my site, hydrogentap.com. You'll see the cells I have up there. This one will be up there once I get it completed and tested out. Also, you can email me at johnarons at hydrogentap.com.